Oprah Winfrey was born on January 29, 1954, in Kosciuszko, Mississippi. In Oprah's younger years, she was sexually abused by a number of male relatives and friends of her mother, causing Oprah to move to Nashville to live with her father, Vernon Winfrey, who was a barber and businessman. During Oprah's high school years, she would go to compete in mini pageants, winning the Miss Black Pageant, Nashville Pageant, the Miss Black Tennessee, and compete in Miss Black America Pageant. Then, in 1971, Winfrey entered the College of Tennessee State University and majored in speech communication and performing arts. She then began working in radio and television broadcasting in Nashville and dropped out of college in 1975, one credit shy of her degree. Then a couple years later, Winfrey resumed her studies and graduated as part of the Tennessee State's 1986 class. Oprah Winfrey then moved to Baltimore, Maryland in 1976, where she hosted a TV show called People Are Talking. This show was a big hit, and Winfrey stayed with it for eight years, after which she was recruited by a Chicago TV station to her host her own morning show, 8 a.m. Chicago. Within many months of Oprah hosting the TV show, she gained many followers and got her TV show to get from last place to first. Oprah then launched her own TV show called The Oprah Winfrey Show in 1986, causing her to become the first black female host of a nationally syndicated daily talk show. This show ran for 25 years until 2011. This, she soon gained ownership of her program from ABC, drawing it under the control of her new production company, Harpo Production, Oprah spelled backwards, and making more and more money for syndication. With many TV shows becoming increasingly trashy, in 1994, Oprah pledged to keep her show free of tabloid topics. This caused her to earn respect of her viewers and soon rewarded her popularity. Oprah has received numerous awards and honors throughout her career, such as the seven-time recipient of the Day Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Talk Show Host for The Oprah Winfrey Show, and was inducted into the Television Academy Hall of Fame in 1994. In September 22, Winfrey was named the first recipient of the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, Bob Hope Human. Her most known award was in 2013, November 20th, um, when she won the Presidential Medal of Freedom during the ceremony in the East Room of the White House, given to her by Barack Obama. No, I had a light in me until Oprah told me it was there. What a great gift. Oprah G. Winfrey. <laughs> Oprah G. Winfrey is a global media icon. When she launched the Oprah Winfrey Show in 1986, there were few women, and even fewer women of color, with a national platform to discuss the issues and events shaping our times. But over the 25 years that followed, Oprah Winfrey's innate gift for tapping into our most fervent hopes and deepest fears drew millions of viewers across every background, making her show the highest rated talk show in television history. Off screen, Oprah Winfrey has used her influence to support underserved communities and to lift up the lives of young people, especially young women, around the world. In her story, we are reminded that no dream can be deferred when we refuse to let life's obstacles keep us down. In December of 2007, Oprah campaigned for a then-Democratic presidential hopeful Barack Obama and attracted the largest crowds of primary season to that point. Oprah joined Obama for a series of rallies in the early primary 
states of Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina. It was the first time Oprah had ever campaigned for a political candidate in her life. Oprah also created the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa that helped as a safe space to educate and inspire the next generation of leaders for South Africa, which she opened in 2007. Then in February of 2018, after the shooting of Florida's majority Stoneman Douglas High School that left 17 people dead, Oprah announced that she would follow the an example set by George and Amal Clowney, and she would donate $500,000 to the March of Our Lives demonstration scheduled for the following month for the lives that were lost. Oprah has shown us time and time again throughout the years how just with one voice, you can make a difference in the world. This is why I think Oprah should be added to the A-Push Wall of Fame, because Oprah has brought inspiration, motivation, and happiness to the people of the United States throughout the years.